Hello everybody, this is Lethal Tabasco with Lethal Tabasco's You and I am going to be recording my first actual gaming video right now. You are going to be the first of yourself to witness it because I can't predict who's going to be the first to view this. As you can probably see, I'm playing Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition and we are going to be playing on my creative Let's Play world. It's going to be the world we use for our Let's Plays that are going to require us to be in creative mode for some of it or build it. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. And this world is called the Commune. Me and some buds, we built houses in creative mode here, and this is where we live. Alright, so let's get started. Oh, drop, delete those. Pick that up. Don't, don't drop it again. Pick it up, wait. Alright. Why do you keep saying alright? I've said that for like the past 10 days. This is my flag. Now, this took me about two and a half hours to make, and I am very proud of it. Uh, it's Lethal Tasco, it's um, the best model with flame shooting out of it on a gaming controller. You get the drift. Okay, so this over here, this is my house, my job, I'm the executive. Um, my dogs, Philip and Laura. This is my sheep, Herbert, and that's my other dog. Uh, now, Philip and Laura, they're my breeding dogs, so they have to stay down there. This is my workshop storage. Housing storage. You'll find out what I mean by that later. TV. Uh, enchanting room down here. And all the luxuries of a good house I built in creative mode. Now, up further, we're at my bed. Secret, not secret chat. And jukebox with all the music discs. <coughs> a little tick in my throat, my bad. Over here to my left, right in front of me, uh, something very important. This is the stat top. This is the uh, stand. Of in it victory. Now this is uh, just cracked stone bricks with the mossy stone block of champions on. That symbolizes that you have won the weekly let's play creative competition. Now I'm going to is the sheriff, the swag house, the swag. Uh, don't know what this is down here. I'm going to investigate because I don't trust it because Swagner says some stuff and I did not approve of it. So all right, let's head back up to the top. There's the dog. Oh, oh. Uh, bedroom, wall, so don't, don't, not in this game, sorry, well, you have to suck, this is a solar cord. Ben's house, uh, Swagner says has a balcony, and Swagner, uh, like his house, the sheriff. Uh, this is my Walleye's house, Walleye doesn't have a job yet, and his house is finished because he joined a little late. Uh, stand of imminent victory, and for his house, like everyone else's, this is my friend, Master Dye's house. Also known as RJ. RJ's house is not complete either. For an unknown this time. Now, this is my friend Squid's house. I like Squid's house. Squid's house has a lot of floors underground. He lives mostly underground. That's his lift floor. This is the meeting room for everyone who's going to be a server. <coughs> Alright, heading down. Relaxation hot tub room. Give him credit for building that. Uh, library. Very nice architectural nice. emergency farm and massive wall of furnaces and then I don't know what that is. Alright, so let's start and back up. It might take a little bit because this is not the easiest place to navigate out of. Um, because it was designed so I don't think you get in or out without moving. I mean dying. Close enough. You got what I mean. Uh alright. <coughs> Dang it, I said alright. I need to stop using that. Okay, there. Better. Now we're gonna move on to reception and storage. Reception and storage, all the rules and consequences, which I will read in a separate video, which is gonna be the first video with other people in it. Uh, we got our own storage floor with our own rooms. I'm not gonna bother showing you the whole thing because it goes all the bedrock. Next up, we have my friend Millennium Force's house. Millennium Force is an animal breeder, which should explain the plethora animals in his house. Don't know what he's got going on down there. But yeah. Over here my cousin Douglas is out. Now Douglas also with Finn House. Um, uh, because he joined late. And lastly, my friend Vice Pike's house. Now, I'm not sure whether I want to start calling Vice or Pike. I think I'm gonna go with Pike. Pike's house is dirty. I'm cleaning up for him because I am a nice person and do those things. Just cut Farm going on over there. Nice farm. And now for the landmarks. 
this is the art of disappointment and useless. Because it looks pretty, but then you realize you can just go it and it's not very useful. Uh, the mountains of stupidity. They are stupid because they refuse to the laws of physics. Um, the northern village. Now, what's really cool about the commune is there is a village on every side of it, which I did not intend for to ha that happen at all. I just think it's pretty cool. Now, over here, we have our eastern village. With the own little tower on it so I, that we can just find out where the commune is. Uh, north southern village. A little like that's totally not man made. Touch not wink wink. Uh, western village over there. Sorry if I'm rushing a bit. Uh, landmark. This is called the Tunic. I feel like it's a little tuned to me. Shut up. Now, <coughs> have a tickle moment. This natural landmark beauty known as the, is what I call the Sky Needle. It goes all the way from sea level to build limit. And to prove it's at build limit, I took myself some iron ore. And now I'm gonna. Can't, can't get any higher than it. This. Oh, squid. Solo video. Sorry. Oh. Uh, um, uh, and I think that's all I was going to show you. Fly through the tuning fork like a boss. Um. Give credit to all of my friends who helped me with this world. And yeah, that includes a shout to Vice, Pipe, Wallfisher 8, Ninja Squid 47, Bass Jedi RJ, numbers I can't remember, Duck 959, 403, and uh, yeah, the Wagner. I will see you guys next video. computer because it's a long narration. So it has to upload it. And it's already in my wallet. Forty eight.